Hey everyone, today's episode of Top 10 Facts will be talking about World of Warcraft. Fact number one is that Blizzard had 150 developers working on the game for 4 years to write WoW's 5.5 million lines of code. These made up for 30,000 items, 1,400 locations, 7,600 missions and 5,300 non-player characters or NPCs, all of which also had to be painstakingly designed beforehand. Among the players, only 22% reside in the United States, while the majority are from Asia with a sizable 48%. Fact number two is that the server side of the game consists of 1.3 petabytes of storage, 20,000 computers, 2 million words of text and 75,000 CPU cores. Fact number three is that nighttime on Azeroth was planned to be dark, very dark. In fact, nighttime was supposed to be so dark the players would not be able to see at all. Several zones like Duskwood were also planned to harbour this level of darkness. To combat it, players would need to take up the survival profession and create torches. These torches would then provide the light needed to navigate around dark places. Fact number 4 is that in the early days of World of Warcraft, epic mounts weren't so epic looking. In fact, they were just recolored versions of their normal counterparts. The cool armor got added much later. Fact number 5 is that in the beta version of the game, the boat system was not quite all there. With many boat paths not in place and glitches and bugs galore, traveling was a bit of a problem. As a temporary measure, Blizzard placed Captain Placeholder, an NPC would teleport players from Menethil Harbor to Oberdyne. The good captain became so popular that, after he was replaced by Captain Notio, players mourned his loss and a lament was even created for him. While many thought that we would never see the good captain again, he reappeared in the Cataclysm expansion renamed to Captain Placeholder as an Horde aligned character. Most of you may be familiar with the Harris Pilton NPC found in Shatrath City. However, few of you may know that her frenemy, Recall Nietzsche, is actually located nearby her. Standing directly next to Harris, Recall is solely invisible to almost everyone. Only priests with the Eye of Divinity equipped can actually see her. Fact number 7, when pulling the boss or trash in an early WoW raid instance, not all players were instantly put into combat. In fact, you had to directly heal or do damage to be pulled into the battle. Players took advantage of this by typically keeping at least one player out of combat, usually a shaman, especially during boss fights. This player would serve as an extra resurrection if needed. Fact number 8 is that in the beginning of the game, rogues and hunters could actually wear bucklers. The buckler was a different item from a shield and only wearable by these two classes. Later this item was removed and Blizzard decided to go with just one shield type. Rogues and hunters wouldn't enjoy the benefits of the shield though, as they were henceforth unable to equip them. The term buckler can still be found in game, but it is still considered to be a shield. Fact number 9, 2010 saw the game at its most popular exceeding 12 million concurrent subscribers all across it of its servers and realms. That's greater than the entire population of Greece and twice as many as Denmark and Finland combined. Following its release, World of Warcraft has been played in 244 different countries and territories. From Antarctica to the Behemoths, over 26 million World of Warcraft videos have been posted to YouTube and 50 million Google searches for the game are made each year. More than 100 million unique World of Warcraft accounts have been created since the launch. And fact number 10 is that Warlocks were actually able to summon people off of cliffs, and Mages and some other classes were actually able to CC, crowd control, people underwater and make them actually drown. And that's it for this top 10 video, hopefully you will learn something new, but other than that, that's pretty much it for the video. If you have something else which you want to recommend for me to do for a future video, just put it in the comments below. And yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.